Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Trader Babes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Trader Babes. Today's episode is such a meaningful episode for us. Our guest today is one of the most notable and accomplished traders we have ever seen. He has had a profound impact on both of our trading careers. Um, and I don't think another YouTube channel or trading podcast has ever been given the opportunity to have this unprecedented access. There's no one like him out there. He's known by so many traders as the legend. The market is designed to continuously go higher forever. So could you tell us a little bit about your time as a market maker? And can you tell us some of the things that you guys do to gain the upper hand on retail? And that the brokers, they call it color. They can see the color on the stock because they know what you don't know. I probably made, you know, half a million to a million dollars just selling premium on that. It was it was absolutely insane. The the things that would run and everyone thought, you know, it was always going to be like that. And then we get caught up in the people who maybe run like these different groups and they front load the stocks and then just offload them on everyone Thousands else. of traders in it and they go out and buy 100,000 shares of stock and then tell everyone about it and they buy into it and they dump into them. I mean, usually when it doesn't work, it was my fault in my process or I was rushing my process or I just simply did not follow my process. So we had a process that we followed and if you, you, you guys were there, so you hear this process that we'd follow. Two things, one, trap shorts and take all their money and two, trap longs and take all their money, right? I learned that working with the FBI, believe it or not. <laughs> like, I believe what Elon did, okay? Elon purposely caused Bitcoin to go down with his tweet because other people need to buy more. The big move is over and, you know, that's, that's it. Like, there will probably be a, a stabilization or a correction in the market. To me, the signal to get out was what I told you is that Bitcoin was not making new highs anymore, even though the altcoins were. That's exactly what happened in 2017. Bitcoin topped out, all the altcoins started running, and then, you know, the move was over. Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel the next thing that's gonna happen, by the way, like there's a cycle of things. You had the stock market made this huge move, now we had this pullback. Some money's gonna come out of the market, right? There's people that made a lot of freaking money that stayed invested. Uh, people made a ton of money in crypto, right? What what needs to make the next move? 